Hey you guys, welcome to Tarot with Tay Tay. Today's reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. Hey Gemini's, take a risk, they leave it out. Don't try to force anything, you guys. This could be your story. Then again, it could be someone else's story. It's most definitely a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Could be you or the other person you came to the reading for. This could be something already happened that's happening now or that's going to happen. If you click on this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, you guys. If you watch it all the way to the end, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. I like to interact with you guys. I like your feedback. I greatly appreciate it. Divine Light, the highest order, protection of Archangel Mike. I invite my spirit guides and guardian angels into this hidden session. Anything that the Gemini needs to know on today's spirit, can you please speak to the cards for us? We thank you in advance. Thank you, spirit. Some of you guys are business owners, you're stable, your finances are looking real good. This could be around a job, an opportunity. This could be around some type of commitment, somebody ready to offer commitment. But this could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Some of you guys have been waiting on something that you have been trying to manifest here. You guys could have been waiting a while. But I see that you have put in time and work into something. It's like now you're ready to see the fruits of your labor. A lot of you guys are in a waiting period. You're not really moving. It's more of some type of stagnant energy. But it's like you guys are trying to look at things from another perspective. I do see something starting here, coming together, speaking about it, community, communicating. Could be something dealing with a community. But I do see it's like a conversation is being held about something starting. Let's see what we got going on. Spirit, why is the seven of pentacles here for the sign of Gemini? Why is the seven of pentacles here for the sign of Gemini? See, you guys are waiting it's like you have taken a pause, taken a break, or this could be someone that you're on a break from. I see there's some type of healing that's taking place. You're trying to recover. You're trying to redirect your focus. And this could have been a situation that you have released, that you moved away from, because it was bringing in too much chaos. It was messing with your head. Some of you guys was having arguments and fights and someone left someone behind it's like they needed to be more in a peaceful place a more calmer area give me more here spirit why is this hangman here why is the hangman here spirit a lot of you guys are healing someone is most definitely taking the time to go within their self and get their self back balanced it's like you may have been on this pause or this break for a while now. Patience talks about, not patience, tempers talks about patience here. But it's like, this could also be some type of reconciliation. But it's like you guys have surrendered to the situation. It's like you're needing to go in and look at things from another perspective. You're just hanging in one place. It's like you're waiting on some type of communication to come in. You're waiting to hear back from someone or somebody or something. Give me more here on the Three of Pentacles. Give me more here on the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, Spirit? Y'all could be waiting to hear back from a particular person. Sag, Leo, Aries. Waiting on to come together and talk about something. You and this person are separated right now. It's like you miss this person or this person miss you truly, so deeply. Someone here could have some type of regrets, regretting the things that they showed you, the way they expressed their love to you. But this person most definitely misses you. It's like they feel your absence. It's like they have taken the L when it comes down to this connection. 
But somebody most definitely want to come in and talk to you again. Someone could be reaching out to you. They're thinking about it. Why is this magician here, spirit? Why is the magician here for the sign of Gemini? Some of you guys have been trying to manifest a connection back. Some of you guys have been learning um, more of a spiritual way of, uh, of knowledge, um, digging deeper, learning how to manifest. Um, some of you guys are trying to bring a marriage back together. Are you trying to get somebody to marry you? Some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus. But it has you stressed out. You're worried. You're dealing with anxiety. You're not sure if you'll be able to call this person back in. But I do see that somebody is reaching out. Let's see. It's most definitely around some type of union here. Somebody want to bring balance back into a connection. They want to make things right. It could be a decision that needs to be made if two people are going to come back into union. Spirit, why is this nine of swords here for the sign of Gemini? Why is the nine of swords here for the sign of Gemini, Spirit? Give me more. It's like somebody pulled back from you. It's like they're, they're not speaking. They're not giving you any time. They're not opening up. It's like they're keeping what they have to their self. It's like they're keeping their energy to their self now. So it's like you're you're feeling the loss. It's like somebody has left you out. Somebody has walked away from you. And it's like you're not able to reach this person. And it has you worried. But I do see that you're going to try to move on from this depression, this anxiety, these dark days. You're going to get past it. You're going to start moving forward. Spirit, give me more here for this Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Some of you guys are dealing with a cancer. Yeah, somebody's most definitely feeling the sadness after someone had walked away from a connection. Someone has most definitely turned their back towards someone. And this could have happened a while ago. It's like I see some time has went by. Seven days, seven weeks, seven months. And this person still misses you after disconnecting and leaving. Give me more here, spirit. This person could, y'all could have been together seven months, seven years. But it's like this person knew that this relationship had the potential to grow into something very beautiful, very abundant. Give me more here on the Seven of Pentacles. It's like you're feeling stuck, you guys. You have the hangman here twice. It's like you're just trying to look at things from another perspective. You're trying to get enlightened on a situation. A lot of you guys have just been taking time to yourself to just really go within and focus on yourself. Because someone left. Someone became overwhelmed with a situation and they packed up their things and they left, you guys. Give me more here on this Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for the sign of Gemini? Give me one card for this Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys, I feel like both of you are in the energy of quietness right now you're not talking somebody is most definitely wanting to come in and talk and they could have reached out to you multiple times but it's like you're in hermit mode you're you have withdrawn you have taken back all your energy because you're feeling like you're needing to make a decision it's like i need to make a decision some somebody could be feeling like they're at a crossroads and they don't know what path or what direction to head towards it's like you want to go out into the world. You want to see different things. You want to travel. Some of you guys could be getting ready to leave for school soon. Why is this hangman here for the sign of Gemini? Why is the hangman here? This person is most definitely thinking about a love connection. This person has so much love for you and they hold you so close to their heart. It's like somebody is wanting another opportunity. Or this could be someone thinking about 
deeper in a connection. This person most definitely is in love with you. And they sit up and they think about it. Y'all are most definitely in hermit mode. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This person is going within deeply here. And they're thinking about this love. They know they love you. And they want another opportunity, another chance. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Why is the seven of pentacles here, spirit? Give me more for the sign of Gemini. You're thinking about rushing in. You're thinking about going into this person and talking with them and just expressing the way you feel. A lot of you guys are just, you want to talk to this person so bad, but this person has pulled back their energy. And both of you guys are in quiet mode right now. It's like y'all have put this relationship on some type of pause. It could have been some type of fight or some type of argument that took place. But it's like somebody's want to come out this stressful situation of worrying. And it's like they're ready to move forward. It's like somebody's coming in. But somebody's most definitely just focused on their pinnacles right now. They're focused on their financial stability. It's like they're embracing the independency right now. The single life. Someone here seems happy. And then someone else here seems very sad. What is this page of wands about? Give me more on this page of wands for the sign of Gemini. This is someone from your past, but we already kind of had a feeling of. I see them reaching out to this Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces person. It's like they want to talk to you. It's like when they reach out to you guys, I feel like they're going to be going down memory lane asking you, you remember when we did this? Remember when we went here? Remember the dog or the cat that we had together? Some of you guys, there have been a lot of time has went by within this connection. Spirit, why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? Y'all most definitely trying to bring in a relationship. Somebody's most definitely trying to manifest you back because they're ready for some type of commitment here with you guys. They're ready to settle down. They're ready to offer you something long-term, something that's reliable. This person is wanting to take care of you and they want this relationship back. Give me more here on this lovers. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. Give me more here on this lover card. Why is the lovers here with the magician? It's like they want to start over. It's like I have, we have everything in order to make this work now. But someone could be up in their head and not making a decision. It's like they're very guarded now. They're protecting their energy. It's like this person has changed. But I do see there's a decision. It's like somebody wants to go out and travel the world. When there's someone here who just wants to be in a long-term committed relationship and probably build a life in one place. Give me more here in the Six of Swords. Because I see you moving away. Somebody is moving away. Give me more here on the Six of Swords, Spirit. It's a lot of movement. Somebody could be indecisive about this move, not able to make up their mind, feeling confused, not knowing if they should go. But it's up in the air. It's up in the air. See, it's like somebody is worrying about somebody moving away. This have you stressed out. It, have you, it has you worried. Anxiety. A lot of you guys are feeling just so down right now and confused, not knowing if this person is going to actually leave. Oh, wow. Give me three more cards for spirit for the sign of Gemini. Somebody here could want a relationship with somebody, but somebody is getting ready to go long distance off somewhere. This could be for a job or for school. And it's like this person has been very patient. They miss you. 
it's like you have already left or you're getting ready to leave they're going to miss you they're not really even going to be putting their time nowhere else it's like they're going to be waiting on you it's like this person is going to reach out to you and say remember when we did this when we was kids i remember when this happened man this person is really trying hard to manifest here it's like they want you back in their life so bad they feel so alone without you it's like they don't it's like they try to pretend like they're strong they try to pretend like they're okay like they could give you words of encouragement saying go ahead do what's best for you but deep down inside it's really it's really hurting them it's making them feel alone but somebody's most definitely trying to manifest you back into their life some kind of way some kind of way Gemini, if this resonated with you guys, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you watched it all the way to the end. I greatly appreciate you guys. Y'all have a great one.